Hello again, everyone. Edwin Leonard back once again in this YouTube astrological segment. I'm going to be talking about the transit moon making a square opposition or in conjunct aspect to one's natal Neptune. Now, when we're talking about transits that involve the moon, they can be about our emotions, our feelings, uh, our needs, responses, reactions, uh, the public. And uh, when you have the transit moon basically making an adverse aspect to your natal Neptune, well, this may manifest in the emotions, feelings, needs, responses, reactions, uh, the public. Uh, may uh, Those things may conflict you know, with what your dreams and things you even fantasize about it might be. Now, in some cases, it might even be that there might be some emotional energy. Maybe that is conflicting with your sleeping at this time, because remember, Neptune can be connected with sleep. It rolls dreams. It's dreams about as far as what you may fantasize about, but the actual uh, literal dreams as well. Keep in mind, though, these transits are frequent, but they don't last for a very long uh, duration. Excuse me, they only last about 10 hours uh, because if you're using a 3 degree applying aspect and a 2 degree separating aspect with these transits, they are at, that's 5 degrees total and the moon will move 5 degrees in about 10 hours. But they still may have some impact, but keep in mind a number of instances you're going to be sleeping during this transit or you'll be, um, or you'll be asleep for part of the transit anyway. So uh, they're not overly significant, but they do happen pretty frequently. Keep in mind, I mean, the moon takes less than 30 days to traverse all 12 zodiac signs. So uh, the thing is, you're going to have like five of these aspects a month. You're going to have the transits. You'll have two squares. You'll have an opposition and two in conjunct aspects per month. Now, anyway, um, as far as Neptune goes, it's also connected with our ideals. So it might be a time where you might not really be, you know, as far as what you feel like doing, you know, pursuing, you know, things that are associated with your ideals or the things or maybe some dreams or fantasies you may be trying uh, to attain. Um, you might not be feeling overly idealistic at this time. And the thing about this is you may be, um, it could be more about isolation from the public more so than usual. Remember that the moon is connected with the public. Neptune can be about escapism and isolation. And Neptune is also uh, really about of what's unclear and what's nebulous and vague. So this could also be a transit where those things, people that, I mean, that are, you know, family members, people you're close to home with, it could be the mother or prominent females in your life. So these people may not be as clear as usual. Remember that the moon rules the left or the right eye, depending on gender. So, you know, figuratively speaking, how you see, you know, these people may not really be that clear at this time. But remember that the transit does not last for a long duration. So it's not overly significant. There might be some minor confusion over somebody at this time or some intentions of some of somebody that you're close to home with. Uh, Neptune is also associated with chaos and confusion. So it could be a time where you know, there might be some chaos in your life or in, you know, like in your home or some confusion there that might be emotionally upsetting and disturbing at this time, uh, more so uh, than usual. And it can be a time where also, too, I mean, you look at Neptune, and Neptune is about deception and duplicity. So, again, you know, people that are close, uh, it could be about self-deception as well and, and being overly idealistic. It might be a time where you may be seeing, you know, things in your home life in general or your family, the mother. It could be these people. Maybe you're over-idealizing or there is, um, you know, you're really seeing them, it could be seeing them with more rose-colored glasses at this time and overlooking like their transgressions or, or shortcomings at this time more so than usual. And the thing about this is, and uh, Neptune is also connected uh, with dissipation and dissolving. So it might be more difficult than you might think. And if you're trying to dissolve some connection 
It could be with a family member or someone you're close to home with a prominent female in your life. Scheme. These things might, you know, they it might something might seem easy on the surface, but dissolving, you know, disconnecting may be a little bit more difficult than usual. Remember, Neptune is connected with dissolving and uh, dissipation. And uh, the thing about it is, too, um, you look at Neptune, anatomically speaking, it's connected with the feet, the toes, the lymphatic and immune system. So it might be a time uh, for you where, I mean, you look at this, these things could be more emotionally upsetting, uh, more so than usual. Your emotions may even be a little bit more you know, chaotic, uh, more so than usual at this time. Remember, Neptune is about emotions. Moon, I mean, I'm sorry, Neptune is, could be about chaos. Moon could be about emotions, especially if the moon is in a more, you know, very, you know, I, I could say, Mer well, I mean, it's like Mercurial Gemini, or if it's in, you know, Pisces anyway, if it's in Pisces, you know, a sign that's very, you know, changeable, the, this, you might even be more intensified if that transit is in a sign. But even Aquarius, because Aquarius, even though it's a fixed zodiac sign, it could be very erratic and sporadic. Now, uh, another thing, too, is Neptune is also associated with alcohol and drugs. So it might be a time where alcohol, or if you're one of the few people who see this, may be doing, by any chance you're doing any recreational drugs, whether it's legal in your area or not. It could be where it might have more of an adverse effect on your you know, the alcohol, on your water retention, one way or another. Moon is connected with that. It could be issues with the stomach um, in some cases. Now, the moon is also connected with the chest and breast area. I don't know if alcohol and or drugs could have any complication with that, but if there is a possibility for that, then it could, you know, there could be greater propensity than if that were the case for some issues with the chest or breast area. But keep in mind, again, not to be redundant with this, but this transit is not going to last for an overly, you know, uh, prolonged uh, or protracted period. Now, another thing is that um, Neptune can also be connected with um, escapism and. Uh, isolation as well so it might be a time where maybe it might be more difficult in finding isolation you know from it could be from those people you know, that are in you know, your home life your family close to home prominent females in your life or it could simply be that you're as far as your home and family go if you are looking for them they may be escaping at this time and they might be you know, whether they're avoiding you or they just need their own time away from you at this time, they might be searching for some kind of isolation because remember that you know, when you have it, I would say especially with the opposition with this transit, remember the moon is connected with people in our home, our family, and Neptune is about isolation. These, these, this could manifest in having you know, that isolation, that, that person may be seeking that uh, at this point in time. And anyway, it can also be a um, thing, too, when, when you look at this transit as well. Keep in mind, I mean, it's also Neptune is about imprisonment. So you might be going through, it might not be a literal imprisonment or incarceration, but you might feel that, you know, you're might be somebody in your home, your family life, or you're feeling like maybe you're you're you know you're in prison somehow in your own way, you know, confined. It might be causing more, you know, uh, emotional tension or some kind of exasperation uh, at this time. Now, another now the thing is, uh, one way this can manifest, another way this can manifest and pan out. Now, it could be a mother. Or a family member or some home situation may be conflicting with your sleep, your relaxation, or meditation. Those things, of course, could be associated with Neptune. Say if the transit moon is in Gemini, as an example, well, it could be a very restless, mercurial, high strung mother. Uh, maybe is you know, keeping you up or needs somebody to you know, constantly talk with and it's somehow interrupting your sleep in some way. 
Hold on a moment. Sorry about that, I'm back, but anyway. Now, another thing, too, is that um, the moon is also associated with past memories or past our memories. So past memories, in some cases, may impede you from going after your dreams. Neptune, of course, is what we may dream or fantasize about. Now, say if the transit moon is in Libra, as an example, it could be maybe there's something in the past when you were overly ambivalent or indecisive that might or, or lacking maybe the ability you know to find someone to collaborate with on something. Maybe this has something where it might cause doubt in pursuing your dreams. It might be a dream where it might require that assistance from someone some collaboration and, and maybe there's some doubt in getting that um, you know and having that at this time being able to do that in order to attain the dream but now another way this might uh, this might be expressed as transit now in isolated cases there may be some flooding or inundation or some chemical or gas leak those are all associated with Neptune in the in one's home and the home of course is associated with the moon Maybe at this time you might find it difficult to nurture and care, which is, of course, nurturing and caring is associated with the moon. And um, maybe for people, you know, for example, that might be you know, less fortunate than yourself, which is associated with Neptune. It could be people that are impoverished, homeless, hungry, um, the poor. Um, it could be people that are you know, maybe imprisoned that you might may have wanted to help to some degree. Um, now also to the public, which is the moon, is something you may not be up for at this time because it may be because you want to isolate, you may be succumbing to lethargy and fatigue, and that's all associated with Neptune. Now it's also important at this time to keep in mind that, that food, which is the moon, and prescription medicine, drugs, alcohol, all related to Neptune, may have a greater uh, proclivity for an adverse interaction more so than usual. Say if the transit moon is in Virgo, as an example, it could be those leafy, those green, green vegetables. I would say that could be associated with Virgo. Might diminish the effectiveness. Say if you're taking aspirin at this time, if you're trying to, like, as far as thinning blood, that could be one example I would say so anyway people that'll conclude this YouTube astrological segment until next time people everyone learns so stay well